Welcome gamers to Super Beard Bowl Season 2. Each month, we're doing an all new 8 episode series complete with a beginning and an end as voted on by you, our loyal viewers. Without paying a single penny, everyone who watches will be able to vote on one of four show ideas and once you narrow it down from four to two, the Beard Bowl Patreon tier will then choose between the top two for which show gets made into a full eight episode series. This month, the winning series is... Well, we just we just picked a bunch of games we like to relax to. And uh, we're going to play those games and answer questions from you guys. <clears throat> just sit back, relax, and enjoy. Welcome to okay. another series of Super Beard Bowl. We're here. We've got comfort games for you. Like a big heaping helping of mashed potatoes and macaroni and cheese and meatloaf uh, on a plate. Are you describing Thanksgiving? The Thanksgiving the series? Yeah, exactly. I'm, uh, I'm meatloaf. Hi, I'm cranberry sauce. <laughs> I'm Batman. <laughs> okay, all right. I'm Sir. He zigged when we zagged. What's up, yeah. Well, yeah, let people let let the people know what this series is, what they voted on. Please, so, Alex. So, comfort games is each of us. You, you're going to see us each pick a game that we like to play to relax, to chill out, to just like when we're not working, just a game that's totally non-threatening and just easy for us to get into uh, in our in our down in our downtime. And along with that, our patrons on the Super Beard Bowl tier have kindly provided us with a series of uh, like questions that we can like get into and answer uh, uh, while we play. So today we're playing Tetris 99, which was selected by Gerard, who is currently yeah. on the sticks. Right, like, we're not playing. It's just playing this is the, like Tetris, Gerard, right? apparently this is the game that you play when you want to relax, huh? Yeah. You, would not, get, you and 98 other dudes, I love it. I'm. It's not necessarily Tetris 99 like that gets my rocks on. It's more or less just Tetris in general. And this is just the most commercially available one that I actually happen to enjoy probably the most just because it doesn't um, I'm like not great at it, but it's it's definitely always fun to to see played and to, to kind of be a part of it. It's got a good. It's got good controls, too. Well, you know, yeah, like I'm not going to I'm not going to remark at you liking Tetris. It's, it's super popular for a reason, but I will remark about how you use the phrase get your rocks on, which seems like <laughs> it's something a lizard person would say. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you're you're right. I feel very lizardy right now. I don't feel good about it. <laughs> Either a lizard person or like you know that, that old bit of someone who's clearly from another country but trying not to seem like they're from another country. Yeah. I love video game source. Right. Oh, all hail your president. Yeah. I love a great apple pie burger. Mm, actually, uh, I you know what? I, I would try that. Yeah. yeah, I was gonna say that might be a. That's a little. Uh, anyways, do you guys have um, you were wondering how out of shape all of us are? There's your answer. We're like, yeah, I'd try that. Yeah, good. Uh, good. <laughs> fuck it. Uh, <laughs> Once again, like the Pet Boys, but just just slovenly. The the the. I'm, try, I'm, try, I'm trying to think of something better than the Bet Boys, but that's. All, that's all it's, the, got. it's just the Fat Boys, but that was also a rap group from the 1980s. The Bet Boys. The Fat Boys. Oh, the Fat Boys. I was yeah. like, no, no, no. Okay. So yeah, so we got questions. They're they're chill. There's no pressure here. You know what I mean? So There's are these no all questions for Gerard. Uh, these are just questions for us to get into, to to give us stuff to talk about while while Gerard plays. And I I wanted to give the the patrons a chance to to pick our brains a little bit. How many questions yeah, tell, would you say that you have? Uh, that's a quick. That's a Ted question. Oh Ted, let me let me take him out of his box real quick. Hold on. Oh, oh thank you. Oh. <laughs> He also turned into a jazz musician. <laughs> he turned, he turned into, into Bubs from Old Star. <laughs> Pepe the Prunk. Think of an enemy out, okay? Uh, so, 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 so far we have well. about uh, 14, 15 questions. All right. Yeah, not bad. And the first question uh, I thought was perfect to start with. Okay. What, a point and click nerd asks, what is everyone's favorite comfort food? Oh, man. Hmm. <sighs> What counts as a comfort food? Is that like a genre of food or is it like up to me to define it? That's yeah, we kind of have to talk about that because like, you know, 
I don't really eat food to calm myself. Like, that's not true. <laughs> like, if I get bored or maybe if I want to self-soothe, maybe I will eat something. But, like, that can be anything. Like, I've made broke man nachos before to make myself feel better. Like, some fucking Ritz crackers with some melted right. American cheese on top of it. But right. I wouldn't call that my comfort food. Like... Yeah, it seems that comfort food, at least in my eyes, has become less about exactly what kind of food it is. Uh, it's, it's more like more about reliable. Like, yeah, because I don't, I, I don't, I don't eat food to comfort my. Mm, I, I do eat food to comfort myself, but it's not a particular food. It, it yeah. can be anything, you know. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I, I get that. I mean, like, oh. I guess, I guess, like, what makes you happy and that mm. you get a lot because you get hype on it. Right, get like a that. lot of food, a lot of it. Because sushi, <clears throat> easy. Sushi, I feel Ooh, like sushi's oh, a good one. It's an easy it's one. A classic. Yeah, I like. Yeah. I'm gonna go with tacos. Tacos is my comfort food. Oh man. In yeah, what way? I, like, 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 why is it your? Why is it because you like you just like it a lot? What's up? I think it's a cop. There's just, in my opinion, the, the taco is one of the best um, amalgamations and usages of ingredients in the in the Mexican food genre. <laughs> so it's not even just, that it's a comfort food for you. You just look at a taco and you can appreciate it like mm, well constructed. Oh no, I mean I I, I it definitely like it lo I I love tacos. Like it's right. It's, it's so not like, like a, so like you're just saying a taco is one of your favorite foods, period. Yeah, I'd say it's like my guilty pleasure or something like that. Oh man, we're getting into the nitty-gritty now. That's what I'm saying. Like, that's why it's important to define it because comfort foods is a tough thing, right? Like, right. for some people, like, for some, like, I went into Thanksgiving, right? Like, mm. at, at the beginning of this episode, I was talking about Thanksgiving food, right? Mm. And, like, for some people, comfort food is, like, mm. not like a question about you. It's like a, mm -hmm. like a type of food. Like, right. like, comfort food is, like, sort of like Sunday roast options, like mashed right, potatoes right, right. and green Which, bean casserole and, and i think i'm shying away from that definition because that type of food can be very intimidating to somebody if they're not used to it you know? right exactly but i mean i just mean like for some people they are literally talking about a specific right. style so i feel like oh, okay for me for me i was gonna say wings oh oh chicken but, but why talk to me why Ooh, wings yeah i choose wings because i know i shouldn't be eating wings very often Mm. Uh, because they're, you know, pretty bad for you. Just like a bunch of fried chicken and like vinegar mm -hmm. sauce, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like if I'm having a stressful day uh -huh. or I'm, I worked really hard. Yeah. Like if I'm at a convention, for example, and I've been walking around the floor all day and mm. like talking to people and my voice is hoarse and I want to like drink a beer. You know what I mean? There is no better like food to like crack down on with a bunch of like homies at the at the at the spot than like a like a basket of wings it makes me happy to that's imagine. very specific yeah and, but and you're describing like a pretty specific scenario like you know as opposed to something like it's harder for me to understand comfort food but what i definitely understand in your example is like foods that make you feel better when you need to feel better yeah uh i think i can understand that that's like where some, my head is at on what comfort food means hmm there's something else though that like I feel like comfort food might mean to some people, and I think I even understand it, which is like food that transports me back to another time and Ooh, is almost nostalgic. Okay. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, Ecto cooler. <laughs> sure, but like, let me put it this way. Uh, like, uh, oh man. Like, if I could have my grandma's corned beef and cabbage again, I would instantly be transported and feel wonderful. You right. Know? Right. Stuff like that, that. Yeah, that's the same thing. Like, I mean, or like I mean, my other exactly grandma's jambalaya, which I haven't had in years and years and years. But if I had it, I'd be like, oh, I feel fantastic because it's nostalgic, you know? Yeah. But I mean, that is, I mean, I guess like wings being like, maybe it's more, maybe it's better to be specific about a comfort food. Like, uh -huh. it's, it's not like wings. It's like, I want a double double from In N Out Burger, or I want the wings from uh, uh, this bar at this place that reminds me of this one perfect time that I was at this bar. Yeah, you know? we're talking about the ratatouille effect where that fucking food critic got transported. Oh right? man, yeah. Like, I don't know. Like, I it's hard for me. Like, I never say that that movie is like my favorite movie. Right. Like my even my favorite Pixar movie, but right, man, right. like as somebody who loves food, like mm. that movie stays with me. I use sure. examples from it all the time. Hmm. Examples for what? Just like 
like when I'm talking about food, I'm like, man, remember when he smells it at that part in Ratatouille and it like changes his like body animations right away? So, so examples of food appreciation. Yeah. I see. I see. And Gerard's killing it. You really I'm, I'm, were on the edge for a minute. I'm kind of waking up. I got body pretty hard in the first round, but you know, I think the thing about Tetris is that like, this is a competitive game, but I don't feel the competitive pressure. Right, it's still just yeah, Tetris. Yeah, uh, that's a very, that's a very fascinating distinction. You're right. This game has been turned into a competitive game, but because of the way it's framed, because of the way that the screen is uh, constructed, it doesn't feel nearly as competitive. Not to mention the fact that, like, I'll tell you, okay, what if, listen, I'll tell you one way to make it feel more competitive, even though it mm. kind of isn't. Like, it, it might even be less competitive if you did this. If the screen were, I'll bet you, like, answer me this, would you feel, would you feel like this game was more competitive if everything were the exact same, except you knew that you were only playing against one person instead of 98? Oh, dude, totally. It would stress right. me out it way more so, that somebody yeah. could body me at this, like, somebody right. could, like, yeah. It's, it feels personal all of a sudden, right? That's the problem yeah. with Street Fighter sometimes, or like any sort of like fighting game like that. Where it's I was just one. gonna bring that up. Like I feel like a lot of people, like a lot of people, I'm like, uh, I'm like, they're like, oh man, I love watching you play this game. I wish I could play. I'm like, why don't you fucking play? He's like, I don't really like competitive things. And then when I, after I talk to them for a while, it's very clear that it's not that they don't like competition. They don't like feeling manhandled. They don't like feeling like they got personally beat at something. Right? Oh, yeah. I'm dead. Like, yeah. they're like, oh, I love Fortnite, though. I'm like, motherfucker, what do you think that is? You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> right, right, right. But it's, but it's not nearly as competitive. Right? Street Fighter, man, Lassalt hits different when yeah, somebody... Yeah, you lost. Yeah. You fucking lost. Somebody steps inside your mind in Street Fighter and, like, goes beyond you. It's right. it's it's humiliating. When you it get really read is. like a book, you want to just die. Yeah, ex exactly. <laughs> well, Sometimes. Jordan, so you got 18th there? Yeah, that's, that's pretty not fucking bad. good. It's really good. You beat eighty Thank percent you. of the people, which once again I think harkens back to the talk about fighting games. Like a lot of people, I think another reason that they're so uh, 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 what's the word intimidated by the yeah. idea of playing like fighting games off, yeah. is because it seems so modal, so binary to them. Where it's like, when do you feel good in fighting games? It's like when I win, and I'm like, man, do you know how like little that happens? Like it's yeah. such, it's a much. Like, imagine how much more, imagine how much more often you'd feel good if your happiness in fighting games was based on something besides winning. You know, like learning or trying something new or having a good time with your friends, you know, shit like that. I, uh, yeah. Which is why I think it's much easier for people to understand how to have a good time in non-fighting games. Like, because once again, j with a game just like this, you already got 18th place. Like, you're like, well, at least I wasn't 19th. You know what I mean? Like, it's so much yeah. easier than, like, I lost. Yeah. Like, I lost to Smoke Dragon 420 Pee Wee Herman. I hate X. that guy. Yeah. He's a dick. I love his name, though. Yeah, but he is a major misogynist. He's, like, nine years old. <laughs> He's both those things, actually. He's a, a nine-year-old misogynist. He's been taught very poorly. I am a major poorly. misogynist, and I am nine years old. <laughs> 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 Major misogynist. Ah, uh, that was a shame. <laughs> I'm a misogynist in a major way. Uh, uh, yeah, I, I don't know. Uh, how about another question? Sure. All right. Uh, Horatius1214 asks... Sounds Hello. like a Bible verse. Hello, and this question is for anyone willing. Oh. What is a type of content or series you would like to tip your toes into... Uh, maybe maybe he means dip your toes into mm -hmm. and make that is get your rocks on with mm -hmm. <laughs> get your rocks and make <laughs> that is outside of the quote unquote wheelhouse of your Wait, current you have brand. to start this sentence over I got lost, <laughs> I, lost One more time. I lost it yeah okay what is a type of content or series you would like to dip your toes into and make that is outside of the quote unquote oh, basically basically of your what current kind of brand or what you are known for okay, anyone in yeah. those kinds of content spaces that you would want right. to collaborate with if you did i think huh. i i think i'm okay there. Yeah, yeah i got it, I got it. <laughs> yeah i want to uh, i just want to make how do I put this? I would love to make art as opposed to making content that talks about art. Yes. That's it. 
That's real. <laughs> That's very real. Yes. Uh, and, you know, I can. It's just uh, it's hard when you have to like, you know, all your job. time is spent. Like it's classic adult shit. If you, you know, if there were any, if this is you, that you knew you're an adult. When you're like, I would love to make art, but I have to like make money. To yeah, live, I have to survive. You know? Yeah. Right. Uh, like to be more like along the lines of like other avenues in my current career choice. I would love to try some food stuff. I would love to try and do more like food content. It's like the wrong time for that in the way that I want to do it. Mm -mm. I had a great idea uh, for doing uh, the top 10 places to eat at E3 2020. Oh yeah, sure. Uh, but it wouldn't be very useful Wait, sorry, now. The top what? The top 10 places to eat at E3 That's, 2020. Are there that many places to eat in E3? Like if you're from fucking Japan and you are in Los Angeles for E3 like you can go to these places and it'll be related to the fact that you're probably at the convention center that's my question like do you mean in the convention itself or do you mean like around downtown around downtown and okay. places that are easily accessible from gotcha. places people are at yeah I was about to say like there are that many places to eat in the convention because I remember the few times I did go years ago yeah that was the main problem was like alright there's three places to go yeah. They're all overpriced in terrible. They're all three-hour lines. Well, they got yes. the food trucks. Like, the food trucks are always pretty good, but the, the places right. that are actually at the convention center are, like, ass. And it's, like, a sandwich that's in plastic. Like, you, you know, and it's $15. Mm. Yummy. Uh, but, yeah, like, I had that idea. Yeah. Uh, but, like, I think four of the places on my list are now out of business. <laughs> like, it sucks, man. Damn. Uh, so, uh... Yeah, I'd like to do some more food content. I don't know who I would want to collaborate with. That's not really, like, where my head is at on that. And I'd like to do some more... I'd like to try, like, some 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 more, like, traditional YouTuber content. Uh, what does that of, mean? So of the other... Of the scripted kind. Uh, uh, such uh, as? I, I'm not I'm not even 100% sure, but, okay. you know, like, I did the decks for a really long time, and it was, like, South Park mm -hmm. five days to air every week, like, <laughs> you know? Right, right, and right. And I didn't really... I, I, I think that was the part of it that was like really taxing on me, you know? And I think if I could like do that again and like not have it be like something that I like a team of people were depending on me to get X, Y, Z done every week and it was just for myself, I think I could probably do it at a more healthy and like enjoyable pace. I feel it, Gerard. I think in the end, um, I would love to do something that's not on YouTube. Um, mm. specifically, like, I'd love to produce a podcast that's, like, a finite podcast. Like, I, I really like podcasts, but I think I'm over the whole, like, video game news podcast or, <laughs> or like, uh... You don't want to just, like, go with a bunch of white dudes and who are like, oh, Batman's coming out. What do you got think? Him. Got him. Yeah, I think, I think I want to try <laughs> and do, like, a, almost like a radio play of, of podcasting. You know, like original story or like you want to um, do fictional content via audio. Not really via audio, just like in general. I'd love to do more fictional content in general. I think I think it's the the, the current most exciting platform to me is a podcast to do that. Interesting, just because I I don't think there's some good um, like narrative podcasts out there. There was that wasn't a thing for a long time. Yeah. Um. But yeah, I. I, uh, I really respect those that type of content and it's funny because it's, it's content that I didn't really f like wasn't really for me until mm. a couple of years ago I remember <clears throat> like the day that it happened what was the podcast that you were like I like this uh I think it was uh Radio Lab I just started listening to Radio Lab all the time and it was that day when it was like raining right and we were like on a plane back somewhere and you just like smashed a bunch of Radio Lab didn't that happen yeah yeah I it was the radio lab about um, the uh, that that infamous killer uh, who hit all the bodies. Um, mm. and oh, his lawyer. The court case. Yeah, yeah, the one about like the lawyer didn't give the evidence because he wanted to like help the guy out or whatever. Yeah, he like created that whole term for like the the, the legal scene. Yeah. Mm. That was like what started it. He's like a hero because he like stuck to the law instead of like 
helping a family with a serial killer. It's it's like a really yeah. complex situation. That sounds mm -hmm. fucked up. Yeah, it, I mean, it really was. Like, it was like, he had to be like, because this is what his client wanted to do. He had to be like, I will tell you where these people are if X, Y, Z. Right? But he, he yeah. went to the place to confirm that it was where the person was, because that was his job as a lawyer. And he's like, you know, client confidentiality or whatever and it's just like that you know complex moral situation you crushed yeah. it i got fourth place that's fucking you good you were you like crushed chatting it. dude what the fuck no yeah. wonder you got was the it, shark fucking emoji on there was it easier or harder when you were speaking um it definitely i don't i don't really know how to describe it 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 felt good to not necessarily think about everything that was happening you know that's what i'm saying sometimes when you're in the zone uh, and you distract yourself a little bit, it can flow a little bit easier. That's what I'm trying yeah. to figure out, though. Like, was that? Do you think it was easier when you were talking, or no? Yeah, I think I think so. Wow. All right. Fair enough. I was gonna I was gonna say like that is a big theme for my game. I'm not gonna say what it is because I want to reveal stuff as we go. But like, it's called In the Zone. That just that game. The game that I picked also. It's like for some reason like I find that turning on a podcast or turning on like something that I can listen to while I'm playing uh, helps me a lot. Like Destiny, I turn off the music and like when I do PvP and I just like put on some music that I like, that I know. Mm -hmm. And it like makes it like different. Uh, we'll pick this up next time on Weird Bros. We're going to have some more Tetris. Now. Uh, back out real quick, Gerard, before you get thrown into another match. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this. And we're going to do some more Tetris 99. Some more comfort game. Some more questions from you guys, too. Can they still submit questions at this point? It, I don't know if it'll be live before we are looking. Is it, Ted? Is it possible? I doubt it. No way, right? Um, I can definitely uh, try, to, try to get more questions after this recording session. Well, sure. But I mean, like, if somebody's listening and they want to, like, be a part of this, they can't go to patreon.com slash superbeardbros and sign up right now and ask us questions, right? Not right away, no, because chances are we may or may not have already filmed this. That's, you know that's what? what it's I, too late. We yeah, do it live. That's what I'm trying to figure out. Point is, if you like this, come be a part of it. You can always, there's always kind of fun stuff like this, but uh, thank you guys yeah, so much. I, I, I hope you guys are feeling air, good. What? I think it will air after we're done recording. Yeah. Makes sense. All right. Uh, gotcha. Never mind then. Fuck it, yeah. guys. But I hope you guys <laughs> feel at least a sense of calm as you watch the show in the way that I was going for. I hope, I hope that, I hope that this, this show comes across. I think I think it will, except for everyone out there who's mad that I'm not playing aggressively in Tetris 99 because oh. there's so much. I'm not trying. Like I, I, I am just playing for playing. I'm not like trying to get T spins to fuck over my opponent. Yeah. I'm just mindlessly doing it because that's the whole point of the series. It's just mindlessly play and enjoy the comfort of the game you chose. I think that's tight. Yeah, we'll see you guys next time. See ya. So here we are. Once again, bearded men have reached the end. Well, I don't know what comes next. All I know is you've made it this far. This is your end time. See you next episode. Hope you enjoy the show. S U P E R. Beard Bros. <laughs>